Jaquiel Wells Sr. coming back to the program after not playing last season, mm -hmm. and then you have Dwayne Moorhead, rising sure. sophomore. Will there be a quarterback competition? Yeah, I, I think it'll be a healthy quarterback competition. The, you know, the, the two young men have uh, phenomenal talent. Dwayne uh, was, was in the program last year, uh, was a tremendous freshman quarterback. Um, played some JV and, and got some varsity time as, as only a freshman. Uh, did well, ha has a tremendous skill set, and the sky's the limit for him. Jaquiel uh, has a very similar skill set, and that's the beauty between it is that they, they're, they're very similar athletes in terms of throwing ability and, and athleticism on the ground. So uh, we're excited about what Jaquiel can bring to the program, and we've, I've watched him on the hardwood for Coach Lewis, and, and he's a phenomenal talent. Uh, what I like most about Shaquille is he's a tremendous competitor. He's a gamer, um, a very gritty throwback player. So uh, I've, I've heard from everyone in St. Francis and the St. Francis community that he was one heck of a quarterback, and we're looking forward to the upcoming season when he'll be back on the gridiron. An interesting quarterback competition. Looking towards your defense, mm -hmm. where do you think you guys can improve the most in that? Well, our defense played uh, very well last year. Uh, in, in terms of where we need to make the improvement would be defending the pass. The, too often it was, uh, we had them behind the sticks, third and eight, third and 12, and, and we just went the You mentioned the first meeting of the football season will be later tonight. Mm -hmm. What do you plan on telling those parents and players about what your program can bring this season? I always look forward to the parent meeting because it's an opportunity for me to communicate the, the plan. I, I talked about that there has to be a plan in place each and every day for the players to, to develop and to get better. Um, so communicating that with them, passing out the team calendar, the rules and procedures, uh, so that we're all on the same page and, and that the expectations uh, from, from the, the families, the parents, the players, and the coaches is, is very clear. How do you bring out the good leadership in your players, especially seniors and those who have been through hard mm -hmm. times in this program? How do you bring out the leadership in them? Well, we try to make practices as, as adverse as possible um, and then to just pump them up with positive reinforcement. Uh, and, and, I, and I know that's kind of uh, ironic to, to hear, I suppose. It, it's kind of the best of both worlds. You know, we, our practices are ruined. We have a period for about 10 minutes in two days, or what I call training camp, known as team adversity. And, and it's a combination of one-on-one -on -one drills, three-on-threes, and conditioning all in one. And it, and it really challenges the players. It also challenges the coaches because the coaches and the assistants. Uh, we, we've got to respond in a positive way. And, um, and, and then we break it down with a small talk uh, before water. So uh, putting them in adverse situations and, and then just pumping them with, with positive reinforcement as they meet the expectation. Anthony Wayne is on the agenda, the first game of the season again this season. Sure. You're an Anthony Wayne graduate. Mm -hmm. What are their feelings and emotions going into a big game like that against your your alma mater? Yeah, th this will be, uh, I guess, the, the homecoming for me. We'll be going to Anthony Wayne, and it's been it's been a long time since I've gone uh, back there on Finzel Road and, and competed and, and played in, that, in the stadium. And I know they'll come out and they'll support it, as will we. Um, you know, you could expect a crowd of upwards of 7,000, and it's going to be a, a, an electric environment, one that we're certainly looking forward to. Um, I, I, I know that Coach Brungard's got that program uh, bursting, and, and it, as an alum, it, it certainly makes me and, and all of us proud, but uh, they are the, the, uh, the opponent week one, and um, a reporter asked me what... Uh, what, what side of the bleachers my father or my, you know, my family would be sitting on. I said, we'll find out week one. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what t-shirt they're wearing and what, what, uh, what side they're sitting on home or away.